gestational diabetes is diabetes affecting pregnant women. It uh, usually will happen in people who have a family history or people who are overweight or who have a past history of polycystic ovarian disease will be more prone to gestational diabetes. Basically people who develop diabetes in pregnancy uh, should be careful with their diet, should be on a strict diet control, no free sugars in their diet and no heavy carbohydrates in their diet, fruit also, selected fruit like fruit with high sugars, with uh, you know fruit like grapes, mangoes, bananas should be avoided, they can be more with apple, pears, that sort of fruit and uh, these are people who have to be careful, they have to be delivered early, they are people who need to be monitored in the entire pregnancy and more carefully towards the end of pregnancy. They are usually girls who have to be delivered say by about 38 weeks of pregnancy and not go up to 40 weeks. These babies are more prone to being bigger in size so the pregnancies the babies are uh, reach a proportion which is bigger for them, bigger in size so the mother has a difficulty in delivering normally. But every patient we have to weigh the pros and cons and then decide whether we have to, we can deliver them normally by inducing the patient at 38 weeks or if the baby size is too big then we sometimes can even go for an elective caesarean section. These are girls who we keep on insulin if the sugars are very high despite diet control, despite whatever exercise they are doing, if the sugars are still high we usually will put them on insulin. Insulin is safe in pregnancy, sugar levels have to be maintained at a normal level, near normal level. We don't attempt a very normal level, but a near normal level so that these girls, you know, we can prolong them on till 37, 38 weeks. But there are times when one, have to, one has to deliver them even earlier than that.